more tired than Jeffrey Epstein at a Girl Scout convention. Double A coming at you live and in person. First video with the new phone. Got the air supply made, uh, done up for the ribbon burner. And I had to switch some things around because I had a bad burn. That's as high as I can get it to go. So I figured out what's wrong, and I'll let you know what happened in that particular uh, video clip there. That is my vice, and that is the vice stand. And yes, I did break it off. So yeah, I'll uh, be looking for a new vice. I think I'm going to get me a, a good leg vice. Hmm. Might be a good addition to the shop, though. Well, a new blower uh, idea. I know what you're saying. You're like, hey, man, that looks like part of a fart fan out of a bathroom. It is! <laughs> it's a 50 CFM um, fart fan motor out of a bathroom. Now, that shop bike only has 60 CFM. It does have a little bit more pressure, though. But in a gas forge, you don't necessarily need the pressure like you need in a coal forge because you have that blockage that's meeting up against. What you're doing is moving gas and air around each other and dumping it into an opening. Do you need some pressure? You need a little bit to get it through the holes, to get it around the bends and whatnot. But do you need an extreme amount? No, but you do need volume. You do need air volume to pump through. Therefore, you need more CFM than you do pressure in a gas forge. As far as the air supply and the fuel supply, it's inch and a half piping. All right, it's an inch and a half piping, and I go from an uh, inch and a half to three to one eighth, not three eighths, one eighth. I'd like it to be a quarter because what I really need is a quarter inch uh, needle valve, which I don't have. I tried an eighth inch needle valve and it didn't do enough. Uh, that burn that you saw in that earlier clip was because there was not enough fuel getting through. So I took the quarter inch ball valve, left it on there, took the MIG tip out of it, and I was getting way too much fuel. And it could be regulated by the ball valve, but it was too touchy to do that. So I knocked it down to an eighth inch ball valve which seems to work almost just right. I think a quarter inch needle valve would be perfect. So air supply, I'm going from, I don't know, that's probably a one inch tube, a three inch tube, busted down to two inch. I think that's two inch. I think that's three by two because I couldn't find an inch and a half. I just need to figure out, I can cut some of this off and then I got to figure out a top and I can seal it all up and stuff like that. But it works wonderfully like it is, but it can work better. As far as the forge, I got the top cut out. I got half of it mazooty. I think this is going to work awesomely, if that's a word. It's a word in my world. That's all that matters. Awesomely. Remember that. Like, why must you talk so much? So I'll tell you what, let me get this uh, blower back together, let me get it hooked up, let me get the blower, the burner over here and hooked up, and um, I will show you how it's running without a gate valve, without air valve, just adjusting it off how much pressure is coming out of the regulator and what I can do with the ball valve to get it running. There's so much things I want to do, you know, like take some stock, man, and make, make a nice little rapier, and I can fix that. Man. <laughs> Totally fixable though. Totally fixable. Alright, let's stop hee hawing and uh, let's get this thing lit off. So I have the blower wired up very safely. Okay, because safety third. And uh, it is running. You can I don't know if you can hear it, but it is running. You see it's running. Okay, it's a hell of a lot quieter than this damn thing here. So I know you're dying to see exactly what it'll do. Well, don't die on me yet. I'm about to show you. All right, so I got full air pressure right now coming out of that old fart fan. There you have it. Because I can't dial down the air, I have to keep the fuel at a certain level. She works quite beautifully. She is hot. She is hotter than uh, Pamela Anderson's centerfold. So she is working. She is working very well. And it's going to be a hell of a lot quieter. Look out for one another. Be good to one another. Be good to yourself. 
How can you be good to anybody if you can't be good to yourself? Love, peace. You know the rest.